Tzohorayim Tovim. Hello to my dear congregants at Shift Day. Hope you're having a good day. This coming week, I want to embark on a project to try to answer and address the following question. What is a Beit Knesset for? Bezrat Hashem, in the next few days, two weeks, whatever it is, we will be re-entering our Beit Knesset. Please God, everyone will be able to join us, depending on the regulations or restrictions, whatever put out. But it behooves us to think about what the meaning of a Beit Knesset is and what it is for. What purpose does it serve in our lives? And so I want to share with you a number of different answers to this question. I'll ask you to bear with me to listen to every part of the series because each one, each video will answer this question in a different way. And today's video will tell you, teach us about the, the Beit Knesset as a place of encounter. And it's a rendezvous, a place where we meet up with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Gemara in Masechen Megillah teaches us that the Beit Knesset today is a Mikdash Me'at. The Beit HaMikdash is destroyed, and today our Batei Knesset replace, they substitute the Beit HaMikdash. And uh, in the uh, Midrash, in Esther, Rabbah, it tells us that HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, without a Beit Midrash, without a Beit Knesset today, there is no place for him to have a home. Ein makom lahashrot shechinato ba'olam. And that place, which is God's home, is the Beit Knesset. And this has a number of halachic ramifications, that our Beit Knesset is modeled after the Beit HaMikdash. For example, the Bima, where we read from the Torah, the Shulchan Aruch tells us it should be Be'emtza, in the middle of the Beit Knesset, just like the Mizbeach, the altar, which was in the middle of the, uh, of the uh, Beit HaMikdash. This is something the Chatam Sofer explains. So too, we know that we're supposed to light a candle, Nerot, in the Beit Knesset, the Ner Tamid, which is modeled after the lights that were uh, the menorah that was lit in the, uh, the Beit HaMikdash on a regular basis. Another example is that the, uh, the Tosefta explains that the opening to the Beit Knesset should be, you should be able to see the Arona Kodesh. Just like when you would enter the Beit HaMikdash from the east, from the Mizrach, you could look into the Azara and then all the way through into the Kodesh HaKodeshim. So structurally, functionally, the Beit Knesset is modeled after the, uh, the Beit HaMikdash. And this also means that the behavior, the way we behave in a Beit Knesset is modeled after a Beit HaMikdash. Uh, we're told that the notion of Mora Mikdash, you should have fear of the Mikdash, you should feel a sense of awe, of reverence in the Mikdash, this means a person, they shouldn't joke around, no schok, no hitul, no kalut rosh, we shouldn't sleep in a Beit Knesset, we shouldn't eat inside of the Heichal of the Beit Knesset itself. All of these things derive from a sense of reverence that we feel for the Beit, the Beit Knesset. But where does this ultimately derive from? It derives from the fact that when we enter a Beit Knesset, when we enter the Beit HaMikdash and also the Beit Knesset, we are encountering God's presence. And we're supposed to feel something different that we don't feel in our homes, that we don't feel at a sport game, that we don't feel outside. We're supposed to feel a sense of reverence, of awe, of wonder, of connection, of divine presence. And I'll be the first one to admit this is a very hard thing to feel. It's, um, I certainly don't feel this every time I walk into a Beit Knesset. But the idea is that we are encountering HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Whatever we do in the Beit Knesset, for, you know, whether it's davening or learning, whatever it is, it, we will talk about these things. First and foremost, it's a place of encounter. It's a place of rendezvous where we're supposed to feel something transcendent, where we feel, wow, I've entered a new space. And we're supposed to feel and raise ourselves and elevate ourselves to feel this elevated uh, spiritual status of encountering HaKadosh Baruch Hu in our lives. And this is something that uh, is worth thinking about. And this is one answer, I think, to this question of what is a Beit Knesset for? It's a place of encounter with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Wishing you a great day. We'll continue with the series each day this week. Kol Tov.